lot of people would say, um, you know, that America is on the road of destruction. And I, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. But then there's some people that might say that America, that there's no hope for America. And I could not disagree more because I believe there's still hope for America. I, I believe that. I don't think that's found in um, nobody else but in the person of Jesus Christ. I think he's the only hope for our nation. But it was obvious how much he loves me. Now, I think a lot of times when we think about prayer, I think that we think that we're begging God. Does, does anybody feel like that sometimes? Like you're, It's almost like a tug-of-war match sometimes. I feel like, you know, like... Um, like, you know, we're at one end of the road and we're trying to like, okay, you're tr we're trying to prove our point to God. God, this is my desire, this is my will, and this is, this is the way it's going to be. And how silly is that? When it's like, we're on one end of the road and we think that God's on the other end of the road when He's not. So I'm here to tell you today that the other end of the rope is vacant. God is sitting on His throne and He's waiting to hear a sound, a fresh new sound from the earth. Uh, we're, we're waiting to hear a sound from heaven when God is waiting to hear a sound from earth. And I think too many times we think that prayer is trying to align God's desires and God's will with our own desires when truly prayer is aligning my heart with God's will. Prayer is aligning my desires and my will with God's heart and God's will. What if we would come to Him on a daily basis, on a continual basis, not just because we need something, but just because we want to talk to Him. Just because we want to be where He is. And that's the true fear of the Lord right there. Fearing God is not being afraid of God. How can you be um, uh, fearful of somebody that you have a relationship with? 